2010 FIFA Soccer World Cup in full swing. Locals and tourists alike have made full use of South Africa's transport infrastructure. Regarded as the crown jewel of the local transport industry, the Gau train and its supporting bus and rail systems have become a firm favourite amongst commuters. A company which has played an instrumental role in supplying buses for the World Cup transport system is Mercedes-Benz. And to tell us more about the company's involvement is Jan Eichinger, Divisional Manager, Mercedes-Benz Bus and Coach. Jan, thank you very much for joining us. It really is. the. Uh, I went on the high train for the first time the other day. It is a crown jewel, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, a complete new mode of transport for South Africa. And um, I'm, uh, we are quite proud of being a part of uh, that project. And um, I'm also really looking forward that uh, not only the first phase from, from the airport to Senton has been uh, opened up, but uh, starting with 2011, uh, the complete car train project has been opened. Now you are supplying those buses, which are the feeder buses, to get your, uh, passengers to the to the actual train stations. Um, we've we've seen them running around Johannesburg. It, it seems a little bit uh, that they haven't been marketing it very well at the moment, but it looks very resplendent, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, we, we have to say that if I've seen the buses as well, and they've they've not been uh, quite heavily utilised, let me say. Um, but we have to see um, maybe two different um, aspects in that. Uh, the first one is that on the one side, um, South Africa has not been spoiled with public transport in the past. So people have to get no known to the transport and have to get known to the transport system on the one side. On the other hand side, the main leg is still to be introduced. Pretoria, Johannesburg, that is where we have seen the biggest traffic congestions in the past. And um, uh, besides uh, big investment into the um, uh, highways between Pretoria and, and Johannesburg. I think we will go we're going to see that uh, coming after the, the Soccer World Cup again and with the holidays period being over. And then obviously people only by 2011 when the second phase has been introduced um, will use it and then they also need that commuting and feeder system where the buses are playing an important role in. I think you're quite right. I mean, when I was sat on the train on the weekend, um, it felt almost as though I, I was in Europe um, in terms of the way everything works, the efficiency and all the rest of it. And, and we do have to get used to this idea of using the buses to get there and having that whole public transport uh, thing. Perhaps when they build all these toll gantries on the, on the freeways, we'll all be jumping on all the buses. Um, but it's part of a, a big project for you in terms of supplying for Passenger Rail uh, Association of South Africa as well, isn't it? Yeah, we've, we've been uh, supplying um, another 460 buses for um, uh, Autopex um, uh, being 100% subsidiary to um, the South African Rail Association. Um, now these buses are uh, also, um, let me say, commuter buses, but commuter on long distance. So Autopex will utilize those buses after the Soccer World Cup um, um, on, on big scale in, um, in uh, providing transport between uh, cities and uh, here with assisting the South African public uh, in commuting between their home cities and the way uh, the, uh, their workplaces. Now we're obviously looking at some uh, video footage of the buses but we're seeing a, a focus on buses at the moment. We're seeing them transporting teams to, uh, to stadiums and, and good camera shots and everything of all these, these buses. It, it's really a focus of attention at the moment and you've got a long-term plan not just for South Africa but for Southern Africa now don't you? That's correct. Um, we, we've been uh, we, we've built we've built up South Africa and we in invested um, in our assembly plant in um, East London uh, about 12 million South African rand uh, just to be ready um, for that uh, the projects coming around the Soccer World Cup, but all this also going forward. So whilst um, prior to the Soccer World Cup, the utilization in the plant was mainly on the so on on those projects for the Soccer World Cup. Going forward, we're seeing um, South Africa, but we're also seeing Southern Africa becoming um, a, a region where we would like to focus on and where we're using our facilities now, fully new facilities in, East Lon in our East London plant um, to support um, the sales in these areas. There has been criticism of the of the bus market, as uh, with a, a number of the markets, of the fact that we've been getting a lot of uh, vehicles coming in from Brazil, from South America, um, possibly because it was quicker to have them manufactured there. Um, but are we now going to see a situation where South Africa is a proper springboard for producing these vehicles for Africa? I mean, I have to say that none of those buses which have been delivered now for the um, for the soccer world cup or short before the soccer world cup uh, from mercedes-benz have been produced in 
in, um, in, in Brazil. They all came as CKD kits to South Africa and we've all assembled them here. Um, uh, and similar on, on the Khao train uh, where we've done exactly the same. And the bodybuilding in addition has been done here um, locally in South Africa with a local content of, of more than 50%. So I think the industry has, has really supported the idea of um, having a local uh, manufacturing process here and um, going forward I think the support from the industry in, in that um, regard is absolutely given. It's very exciting and it's great to see some of these very very modern um, and comfortable luxurious buses uh, on our roads and we hope that uh, the public gets uh, to use those as far, part of the system. Jan Eikinger, a Divisional Manager Mercedes-Benz uh, Coach and Bus, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much.